Yo guys, what is going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out how to unlock the Dark Zone in the Division 2. So, right now I'm level 9, and I have made my way down, the whole way down here. And my uh, last main mission I did was American History Museum. So, I don't know if it's level-based or how much progression you have, but I've been doing a lot of side missions and stuff too. I almost got Federal Triangle completely done. I have Downtown East completely done. So, um, I don't know what, you know, you have to have, but settlements... Uh, the theater, I am on my fourth staff member, and that is the one for the Dark Zone Officer. As you guys can see, you cannot access any of the Dark Zones without a DZ Officer. So, we're going to talk to the DZ Officer and recruit her. Hello, Agent. I've been recruited to help you survive in the Dark Zones. I'll be heading over to the base of operations soon, so come and visit me and I'll explain more. All right, so we're going to be heading the whole way over here to this Dark Zone East Recon, and we're going to check that out. So we're going to do that right now. I will get back with you guys in just a moment. When Dark Zone East is sealed off, stockpiles were left behind. You'll need to get in, map the site, reactivate the security protocols at the control room, and collect whatever you can while you're there. Nope, didn't expect two guys sitting there, but... It would seem that you are not the only one interested in what lies beyond those walls. Go open the gate. So I'm wondering if we'll be facing off during other players right now, or if this is actually a story mission. There is an inactive checkpoint beyond the main gate. You'll need to go through the checkpoint to reach the contaminated site. Once you're I'm assuming, hopefully, there's going to be a dealer in here. Huh. Maybe they'll be standing here once we fully unlock everything. But it looks like we're heading in. Move to the location and perform a scary stuff. You're really lucky to have Isaac at your disposal. So we're technically in the dark zone right now. But we're also in a story mission. To help set up the quarantine. The team primarily consisted of first responders. Everyone just wanted to help out. We were guarding the supply depot. Countless vaults concealed the contaminated dead. And the containers filled with DC-62. I was lucky. I can't say the same for most of my friends. Initiate area scan. Map updated. Supplies detected nearby. You are headed to the military camp. Word of warning. You might run into people trying to scavenge supplies. They may find what they need, but not without paying a price. Greed can be a powerful motivator. Personally, I believe it's a demon. Greed possesses you. Before you know it, you've lost yourself. Be careful. Okay. Are these guys leveled or are these kind of like bots? Eh, they're like kind of bots. Am I doing 9,000 damage? What on earth? Armor looks a lot different. Everything's scaled really weird. We have our dark zone level up at the top right. Awesome stuff. Area scan location identified. You'll need to leave with a complete map of the site. Go there and perform a scan. I 
I don't know how I feel about this concept. I like how it kind of introduces the Dark Zone, but, like, it's the second iteration of the game, so everybody already knows what the Dark Zone is. I just wouldn't assume that many new players would pop in like, without playing the first one. Well, another note is super hot in my room, and I'm low key dying. This video is super long already. It took so long to get to this mission. I ran into like a control point, and it was just so chaotic. So I'm low key just dying right now. Right, so we doing uh? So it's an echo. That's great. You want to be next? We can't just leave her. We have to go. Come on! Alright. Oh, that's, that's not what I expected to come around the corner, not gonna lie. I need pistol kills if you guys are wondering why I popped out the pistol. That'd be why. Where's this dog at? Oh, he's right there. Let's see if I can get him on the side. for the security system are in this building. Before the last volunteers left, they shut down the security system to try and seal the site. Once you've accessed this control room, you'll need to find the main control panel and switch the system back on. If you guys are interested in like a bunch of Dark Zone videos, like I'm 100% down for that. Dark Zone in Division 1 was like one of my favorite things to do. So if you guys are all about that, let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around. Check it out. Unlocking the Dark Zone. We're going to assume the other generators are on the other side of the room with guys there. No? Okay. So this is going to be like a base of operations inside the dark zone. Oh, I know. I remember safe rooms. You can't mantle that. That's crazy. Safe rooms with the little vendors in them. Man, people would always camp outside the safe rooms in Div 1. And it was so irritating. Do we have to activate the turrets now? Good. The DZE security systems have been reactivated. You will need to bring the turrets back online at the checkpoint. Ugh. Oh my, the door was in the room, man. But I will try to uh, edit out some of the stuff to keep things a little cleaner. This looks sick, yo. This is a completely different vibe than what I was just looking at. Oh my god, holy... So are we still in story mode or are we in dark zone mode? Finally. Like, the vibe has definitely changed. Are we gonna do like a fake extraction and a boss is gonna come type, type deal? Oh, okay, we got some friends. I even see this guy over here. How do you want to play this? Nade these guys. I 
fucking works. Contaminated gear detected. Contaminated gear detected. Any contaminated gear you collect from the dark zone will need to be helo extracted and go through decontamination. Get to an extraction point and shoot your flare to request a helo to collect your gear. This is what I like, man. This is what we like. This is the dark zone stuff we want. Man, if you guys know how to turn off the controller talking, because I can literally hear it in my headset as I'm playing, and I looked in the settings and I could not figure it out, and I'm sure it's going to get picked up in the mic in my videos, which is super irritating. I looked in audio, and I also looked in, like, controller settings, and I just could not find it. So if you guys know, let me know. I'd appreciate you so much. I'm on PS4, obviously. Wow, a 30 second extraction? Yeah, right, man. This guy's still gotta be at least a regular minute and 15 seconds. Like it was in Div 1. If it's 30 second extractions, it's gonna be so easy to get DZ loot. There wasn't even a single guy that came. Yeah, like, Isaac says so much stuff, too, so it's like, I don't feel like turning Isaac off. Cargo extraction begun. I don't even know if you can turn Isaac off, to be honest. So I'm hoping everything's still the same. Um, you can still cut the rope and, Cargo you know, go rogue and all that stuff. Um, I don't like how what they added in um, Div 1 where you had to activate your rogue first and like tell everybody you're going rogue. I like the element of surprise sometimes, especially the extraction sites, but all good. Extraction has been complete. Like moths to a flame. We're done here. Head back to the checkpoint and activate the turrets. Hilo is returning to base. Hilo is returning to base. All right, I need to know. Okay, we're going this way. We're heading this way. It's going to be most likely the last part of this DZ story mode. And then uh, we'll have fully unlocked the Dark Zone. It's like super exciting stuff, man. Like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing some Dark Zone videos, I think we're going to... I think I'm going to do a series. I think I'm going to do a Dark Zone series here on Aces Gaming. Um, maybe... I don't, I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know if I want to drag out super long episodes, 20-minute episodes... Uh, just dark zone hunting, dark zone looting. Ooh, you know, there's a lot of stuff we can do with that. But, um, we'll see what we do. It looks like we got some contacts guarding the gate here. Be a shame if your sniper just took a hike. 120,000 on the headshots. Get those turrets back on Sorry, Chief. Take out any hostiles while you're at it. Oh, not the gun I wanted. Oh, dude, if these turrets just rip these guys, it'd be awesome. Let's see if they do. Oh my god. I'm already. Trying to get a couple more of these pistol kills very quick. I think I need like 100. Last I checked, I was at 48. Yo, they're just flooding in. I'm also curious if you're still going to lose DZ credit and XP every death and, you know, all the things from Div 1. It's honestly really unfortunate because I didn't know this game came out three days early with the $120 edition or I would have had all this content that I'm doing right now for you guys out three days ago. But uh, I was just not informed. I'm also going to be interested to see if you have to do... like a mission like this for each of the individual zones of the dark zone if that makes any sense because there's a there's at one at the 
yeah, east, west, and uploaded to the network. This means any agent can use your map to extract supplies from the area. But be careful. I've seen the best people do terrible things because of greed. That includes agents. Yup. Alright, so we have Dark Zone East completely unlocked, and Dark Zone West and South are still locked up. We have recon missions available for um, the South one there, which should be between level... Okay, hopefully it's more towards that level 7. But, for now, we are going to end it here. We are officially unlocked on the Dark Zone, so we might make some videos in DZ East for now. I'm going to get the fans back running and edit this video up for you guys and get it uploaded today on release day. So, if you guys did enjoy the video today, leave a like on it. Help me out a ton. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching.